Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean, number 100, <laughs> on July 20th, 2020, 7 2020 There you go. Uh, it's great to be with you guys this morning. Who'd have thought 100 mornings in a row, sharing this time together, uh, so grateful and although we have several people that are not coffee lovers on the show what would daylight be without that first sip of coffee in the morning for those of you that are a little nervous i was a few minutes late this morning starting a few minutes after daylight um, I decided that I didn't want to be late for the gym, so I got everything together and ready beforehand, and then I realized I wanted to take a shower. <laughs> so I hopped in the shower real quick, and there's no really real quick shower thing for me because uh, I got to shave my head, my face in the shower, and it just takes a little bit longer than... Uh, than it used to so sorry that I was a few minutes late for those of you that like to watch it exactly when it starts at sunrise for New Kensington for this particular day so held you up three or four minutes so um, apologize for that but you're like don't apologize no big deal okay I take it back <laughs> great to be with you had a great day yesterday at the river I uh, thought it was going to be too hot to do anything, but it was not too hot uh, because the heat advisory didn't start till noon. And so we had, um, we had, there's my son. He's on the 100th episode of Daylight as well. So what was great about church yesterday related to the weather was that it was very windy. And so sitting in the shade with the wind blowing through, uh, made it very enjoyable. Uh, had great people there. Had <laughs> had a lot of dogs there. I think there were three or four dogs that joined us. And like I mentioned on here last week, that anybody that wanted to bring their dog was welcome to. The dogs were well behaved. Uh, there was a favorite picture I took of a dog, uh, Fifi, little tiny miniature something poodle, I guess and the goggles that Fifi was wearing. So uh, Fifi had these goggles acting as um, sunglasses on the entire time, and Fifi was a cool-looking dog. <laughs> so it was a great, uh, great service. We had a great time together. Um, secondly, yesterday, I had the privilege of saying the invocation at Lisa Robbins' commencement uh, ceremony that was hosted at the Need Cafe. Um, had that commencement, uh, had her hosted her commencement at the Need Cafe yesterday. I was invited to share the invocation and it was great to honor Lisa for her accomplishments and all that she's done. Uh, sticking to getting her degree as a uh, she gave me the formal name and it was very impressive and she said what it means is I'm an x-ray technician now and so uh, Lisa so proud of you for for that and proud of you for the opportunity to celebrate with you yesterday and want to thank all of those that provided the great food and Carlo from Maziotti's Bakery for the amazing cake. Yes, it was amazing. And they gave me a corner corner piece with all the buttercream icing anyone could ever want. It was amazing. And it's making me thirsty for coffee for some reason. <laughs> there you go. So what's ahead? What's ahead for you? What's ahead for this day? What's ahead for this week? Um, hope you have great plans for this week. Um, 
I am thoroughly enjoying uh, hitting my gym every morning at 6.30. And um, this is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I go also to um, a friend of mine's house and work out with a pastor a friend of mine. And, and um, three of us work out for another 45 minutes. So uh, it's a big day today for me, my day off. Uh, not sure what all today entails. I know that I have to order some uh, auto parts for a vehicle that we're getting ready to get inspected. It needed uh, several hundred dollars worth of parts. So getting that put together. And um, so I know that's on the docket. For those of you that have been wondering, no, the paperwork is still on the dining room table. I know, I know, I know. Um, my wife uh, has been very patient with me and a little preoccupied, so we're still good. Um, and <laughs> I am so paperwork phobic, it's not funny. So uh, we, will, we will see if I can make some progress on that. Um, it, what usually happens is it usually stays there until my wife moves something or... Uh, tries to straighten it up herself and then that's when I'm like okay okay it's on I will take it I will take it away I will clear it up I will put it where it's supposed to go but the problem is with my paperwork I don't really have a place that it's supposed to go I am not uh, very organized when it comes to that and I bought a I think a 32 drawer uh portable plastic file folder back when I went to Deep Creek. I think that was back in May or early June. And that was May, I think. I don't remember when it was. Uh, so I bought that with great hopes and aspirations that that would organize my paperwork snafu because I have all of my bills that come in. Uh, they don't get, they don't get, uh, put away after they're dealt with. <laughs> I know I'm driving a few of you crazy. <laughs> it is so funny to realize that there are some of you that love that kind of stuff. Some of you that that would be like the highlight of your day to be able to organize and get somebody that's so disorganized as me um, and, and straighten me out. <laughs> Well, uh, that's what's on my docket for my big day today, and uh, I hope that you have a great day planned, and I hope that you invite the Lord to do this day with you, and I've had a lot of feedback on uh, control and navigating control and what you can control, what you can't control, and all of that, and I hope that that has opened up your um, willingness to look at the areas of your life that from time to time get a little unmanageable because you're trying to control more than you really uh, are called to do. So um, I hope that you will continue to kind of just keep an eye on that because that's something that sneaks up and can grab us without even really paying that much attention to it and realize what's going on. So I hope that, um, I hope that that is helpful the last three or four days talking about control. And, um, one of the things that I can control is being on time for my gym at 630. So I'm going to check out a little bit early today because I want to be there at 630 with my friends that uh, I'm in this group session with. So um, I'm going to sign off uh, and I hope that whatever it is that you have planned for today that it's a great, <clears throat> a great day for you. So let me close in prayer. Father, I just thank you so much for the past hundred days that we've had this time to share together. I thank you for just the invitation to pause at the beginning of our day and 
kind of get our focus, get our head uh, in the game, uh, uh, the opportunity to just pause before you and yield our day to you, yield our will to you, surrender our plans to you, and invite you to accomplish what you want to accomplish through us. And Father, I pray for each person here, for any of us that are struggling today, I pray, Lord, that you would give us hope. Uh, Father, for any that are overwhelmed, I pray that you would give them the ability to navigate what's ahead for them. And Father, I pray that as we do this day, inviting you to be by our side, that we would sense your love, your presence, your goodness today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, had a lot of suggestions on what to do to celebrate the 100th uh, episode of Daylight. Uh, one, one that almost made it was uh, to bring out all the coffee mugs that I've used during Daylight. I think it's just been three or four of them and uh, drink coffee from all of them. <laughs> I chose to uh, wear my favorite outfit that I wore in the early days of Daylight when I would roll out of bed. Uh, just a t-shirt and my warm-up jacket and so uh, just a little throwback to uh, the first 20 episodes of daylight when I wore this quite often so uh, look forward to the next hundred with you uh, have no idea where it's gonna lead us or what that's gonna be like but can't wait to be on this journey with you as we start our uh, mornings together and experience daylight together. God bless you guys. Have a great day.